One milliliter of water is exactly equal to one cubic centimeter, or one cc. It weighs one gram and takes one small calorie of energy to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius. It weighs one gram and takes one small calorie of energy to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius. This corresponds to a 1% change between the freezing and boiling points of water from zero degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. That's the great synchronization of the International System of Units, abbreviated as SI, also known as the metric system. So why is the United States the exception? Welcome to Amazing Animoles. An American wouldn't understand what you just said if you have to explain that. One milliliter of water would be 0.03381 for ounces or 0 0.2 teaspoons. It takes 0.53 small calories of energy to raise its temperature by one degree Fahrenheit corresponding to a change of 0.94% between the freezing and boiling points of water from 30 to degrees Fahrenheit to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. If you live in America and you say your body temperature is 37 degrees, people will transfer you straight to the morgue because the normal body temperature of a human on the Fahrenheit scale that Americans use is up to 98.6 degrees. There are over 195 countries in the world and all use the metric system, except for three countries, the US, Liberia, and Myanmar. Of these, Liberia is a colony of the United States, so it inherited the measurement system of the mother country. Meanwhile, Myanmar could not sign international treaties to use the metric system because in the past, they were diplomatically isolated. However, all three countries are also preparing to switch to the metric system. In 2018, the Liberian government pledged to adopt the metric system, but so far it still mainly uses the US measurement system. In 2023, Myanmar announced that it was preparing to make the metric system the national measurement system and started by stimulating that road signs and temperatures must be calculated according to T and even the United States. As of 2023, it has also issued a national policy on the use of the metric system for all government agencies. But the reality is that most Americans still use different units than the rest of the world. So what is the reason for this stubbornness? Do successful people often have their own way or is there another reason? The US measurement system evolved from the British measurement system. When 13 British colonies were established on the Atlantic coast of North America in the 17th and 18th centuries, they brought the British measurement system to the New World and made minor improvements. By the time the United States gained independence in 1776, this system was deeply ingrained in the commerce, industry, and daily life of the American people. Obviously, the synchronization of the metric system in the example above would make the daily life of Americans simpler. In 1996, education policy expert Richard P. Feltz wrote that if schools only taught the metric system, they could save each student up to 71 days of math. And don't tell me that using a different measurement system than the rest of the world doesn't cause any loss. In 1999, NASA spent more than $300 million because a contractor providing their orbital calculation software, Lockheed Martin, wrote everything using the US measurement system and forgot to convert it to the metric system before handing it over to NASA. As a result, the Mars Climate Orbiter flew 57 kilometers to close to Mars instead of 150 kilometers as originally calculated and most likely it was roasted or crashed to the ground. The fact is that the United States now officially uses the metric system in many fields such as science, medicine, military, and international trade. The biggest obstacle to a complete conversion to the metric system actually lies with the people. The US currently has nearly 350 million people and most people are too familiar with the US measurement system. Over the years, they have used feet and yards instead of meters, inches instead of millimeters and centimeters, miles instead of kilometers, or pounds instead of kilograms, and there is no problem. For them, switching to the metric system is simply unnecessary. 
Probably you don't know that the US once enacted the Metric Conversion Act since 1975, but because it is not mandatory, so no one cares. Also, the price of change is not cheap. In 2015, NASA announced that the total cost to completely convert to the metric system for this agency alone was about $370 million. Currently, there is no estimate of the cost of converting the metric system across the United States. However, in 1995, the state of Alabama estimated that it cost about $70 to convert a road sign. At that time, the U.S. had about 6 million signs. Thus, the cost of repainting the signs alone is for $120 million. When you convert from ounces to milliliters, feet to centimeters, gallons to liters, pounds to kilograms, miles to kilometers, square feet to square meters, it will often produce odd numbers. Therefore, many designs will have to change from small things like packaging, bottles to the size of planes used to build houses. Wall size, ceiling size, lane size to speedometers, thermometers, rulers. Those measuring channels, everything has to be modified. Even the software needs to be rewritten or modified. Worse, all building codes in the US need to be revised. Every industry standard, every law or regulation related to numbers must be rewritten. Millions of science books and textbooks also have to be reprinted. It is no exaggeration to say that the total cost to convert the entire United States to the metric system could be trillions of dollars. The rest is to convince the American people to spend a mountain of money, literally, on something that neither brings them any benefit nor costs them money to buy new things and takes time to get used to. What is everyone's opinion? Please share below in the comments section. As everyone remembers to subscribe and ring the bell. And now goodbye and see you again.